Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel, Nurse M.E. here. I have picked some questions to put your nursing knowledge to the test. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to post them in the comments section and I will respond to you. I passed the NCLEX on the first try and I would love for each one of you to pass as well. Now before we jump into the questions, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. And do not forget to drop a comment below sharing how many questions you got right. Which medication is a beta blocker used to treat hypertension? A. Lisinopril. B. Metaprolol. C. Amlodipine. D. Losartan. The correct answer is B. Metaprolol. Metaprolol is a beta blocker that reduces blood pressure by slowing down the heart rate and decreasing the force of contraction. It is used for treating hypertension and angina. What is the primary adverse effect of high-dose aspirin therapy? A. Bradycardia B. AGI bleeding C. Hyperkalemia D. Hypotension The correct answer is B. AGI bleeding High-dose aspirin can cause gastrointestinal bleeding and ulceration by inhibiting prostaglandin synthesis, which protects the stomach lining from acid damage. Which drug is commonly prescribed for a patient with type 2 diabetes mellitus? A. Metformin B. Atorvastatin C. Omeprazole D. Furosemide The correct answer is A. Metformin Metformin is an oral antihyperglycemic agent that improves insulin sensitivity and decreases hepatic glucose production, making it a first-line treatment for type 2 diabetes. What is the antidote for warfarin overdose? A. Vitamin K, B. A protamine sulfate. C. Atropine. D. Naloxone. The correct answer is, a vitamin K. Vitamin K promotes the synthesis of clotting factors inhibited by warfarin, reversing its anticoagulant effects in overdose or excessive anticoagulation situations. Which medication should be avoided in a patient with a known sulfa allergy? A. Furosemide B. Amoxicillin C. Digoxin D. Lorazepam The correct answer is, i.e. furosemide. Furosemide, a loop diuretic, contains a sulfa moiety, which can trigger allergic reactions in patients with sulfa allergies, including rash, itching, or hypersensitivity reactions. Which antibiotic is known for causing ototoxicity? A. Ciprofloxacin B. Gentamicin C. Amoxicillin D. Doxycycline The correct answer is B. E. Gentamicin. Gentamicin, an aminoglycoside antibiotic, can cause ototoxicity, leading to hearing loss or balance disturbances, especially with prolonged use or high doses. What is the therapeutic level of digoxin for heart failure management? A 0.5 to 2.0 ng per ml, B 2.5 to 4.0 ng per ml, C 4.0 to 6.0 ng per ml, D 1.0 to 3.0 ng per ml. The correct answer is, a 0.5 to 2.0 ng per ml. The therapeutic range for digoxin is 0.5 to 2.0 ng per ml. Levels outside this range can lead to toxicity, if too high, or inadequate therapeutic effect, if too low. What is the most concerning side effect of long-term corticosteroid therapy? A. Hypoglycemia B. Osteoporosis C. Bradycardia D. Hypertension The correct answer is B. Osteoporosis. Long term corticosteroid use can decrease bone density and lead to osteoporosis due to inhibited bone formation and increased bone resorption. Which medication is used to treat opioid overdose? A. Flumazenil. B. Atropine. C. Naloxone. D. Diazepam. The correct answer is C. Naloxone. 
Naloxone is an opioid antagonist that rapidly reverses the effects of opioid overdose by competing for the same receptor sites, blocking opioid action. Which medication is an anti-epileptic drug? A. Lysinopril B. Metformin C. Phenytoin D. Warfarin The correct answer is C. Phenytoin. Phenytoin is used to manage and prevent seizures by stabilizing neuronal membranes and reducing repetitive neuronal firing. What is a common side effect of ACE inhibitors like lisinopril? A. Hyperkalemia. B. Hypokalemia. C. Constipation. D. Bradycardia. The correct answer is A. Hyperkalemia. ACE inhibitors can increase potassium levels by reducing aldosterone secretion, leading to hyperkalemia. Which medication is used to treat heart failure by increasing cardiac contractility? A. Digoxin. B. Metformin. C. Losartan. D. Furosemide. The correct answer is A. Digoxin. Digoxin increases cardiac contractility and output by inhibiting the sodium-potassium ATPase, enhancing calcium availability for myocardial contraction. What is the primary adverse effect of vancomycin? A. Nephrotoxicity B. Hypoglycemia C. Hypertension D. Bradycardia The correct answer is A. Nephrotoxicity. Vancomycin can cause nephrotoxicity, particularly with high doses or prolonged use, due to renal accumulation and damage. Which drug is used as a first-line treatment for acute asthma exacerbation? A. Albuterol. B. Metaprolol. C. Fluticasone. D. Montelukast. The correct answer is uh, albuterol. Albuterol is a short-acting beta-2 agonist that provides rapid bronchodilation, making it effective for acute asthma relief. Which medication is used to prevent thromboembolism in atrial fibrillation? A. Insulin B. Warfarin C. Digoxin D. Lisinopril The correct answer is B. Warfarin. Warfarin, an anticoagulant, prevents thromboembolism and atrial fibrillation by inhibiting vitamin K-dependent clotting factors. What is the antidote for benzodiazepine overdose? A. Analoxone. B. A protamine sulfate. C. Flumazenil. D. Vitamin K. The correct answer is C. Flumazenil. Flumazenil is a benzodiazepine receptor antagonist that rapidly reverses the sedative effects of benzodiazepine overdose. Which class of drug is atorvastatin? A. ACE inhibitor. B. Beta blocker. C. Statin. D. Diuretic. The correct answer is C. Statin. Atorvastatin is a statin that lowers cholesterol by inhibiting HMG-CoA reductase, the enzyme involved in cholesterol synthesis. What is the major side effect of methotrexate used in rheumatoid arthritis? A. Hyperglycemia. B. Myelosuppression. C. Hypertension. D. Hyperkalemia. The correct answer is B. Myelosuppression. Methotrexate can cause myelosuppression, leading to a decrease in bone marrow activity, which affects the production of blood cells and can increase the risk of infection and anemia. Which medication should be used with caution in patients with COPD? A. Albuterol. B. Fluticasone. C. Propranolol. D. Ipratropium. The correct answer is C. Propranolol. 
Propranolol, a non-selective beta blocker, can worsen respiratory symptoms in COPD patients by causing bronchoconstriction and should be used cautiously. What is the mechanism of action of omeprazole? A IH2 receptor antagonist. B. A proton pump inhibitor. C. Antacid. D. Anti-inflammatory. The correct answer is, B. A proton pump inhibitor. Omeprazole reduces gastric acid secretion by irreversibly inhibiting the hydrogen potassium ATPase enzyme, proton pump, in stomach parietal cells, which is effective in treating acid-related disorders. Which medication is contraindicated in pregnancy due to the risk of teratogenicity? A. Lysinopril. B. Metformin. C. Insulin. D. Acetaminophen. The correct answer is, a, uh, lisinopril. Lisinopril, an ACE inhibitor, is contraindicated in pregnancy because it can cause fetal harm, including congenital malformations, renal impairment, and death. Which drug requires regular monitoring of thyroid function? A, levothyroxine. B, metformin. C, lisinopril. D, furosemide. The correct answer is, a, uh, levothyroxine. Levothyroxine is a synthetic thyroid hormone, and its dosage needs to be adjusted based on thyroid function tests to maintain euthyroid status, ensuring proper thyroid hormone levels are achieved without causing hypo or hyperthyroidism. Which drug is used to manage hypertension and can cause a dry cough? A. Amlodipine. B. Elosartan. C. Lysinopril. D. Metaprolol. The correct answer is, C, lisinopril. Lisinopril, an ACE inhibitor, can cause a persistent dry cough due to the accumulation of bradykinin and substance P, which are degraded less effectively, leading to irritation of the respiratory tract. What is the significant side effect of spironolactone? A, hypokalemia. B, hyperkalemia. C, hypertension. D, hypoglycemia. The correct answer is, B. Hyperkalemia. Spironolactone, a potassium-sparing diuretic, can cause hyperkalemia by inhibiting aldosterone, which reduces potassium excretion in the kidneys and leads to increased serum potassium levels. Which side effect is most associated with amiodarone? A. Bradycardia. B. Tachycardia. C. Hyperkalemia. D. Hypertension. The correct answer is, A. Bradycardia. Amiodarone can cause bradycardia due to its effects on the cardiac conduction system, specifically by prolonging the QT interval and slowing the heart rate. Which drug is commonly used to reverse the effects of heparin? A. Vitamin K, B. A protamine sulfate. C. A naloxone. D. Atropine. The correct answer is, B. A protamine sulfate. Protamine sulfate binds with heparin to form a stable complex, neutralizing its anticoagulant effect and thus reversing heparin's activity, which is critical in managing heparin overdose or excessive anticoagulation. What is the primary action of furosemide? A. Antihypertensive. B. Diuretic. C. Anticoagulant. D. Beta blocker. The correct answer is, B, diuretic. Furosemide is a loop diuretic that inhibits sodium and chloride reabsorption in the kidneys, leading to increased urine production and fluid removal, which helps manage conditions like edema and hypertension. Which medication can be used as a smoking cessation aid? A, varenicline. B, loratadine. C, montelukast. D, omeprazole. The correct answer is, A. Varenicline. 
Varenicline helps reduce nicotine cravings and withdrawal symptoms by partially stimulating nicotine receptors in the brain and blocking nicotine from binding to these receptors, aiding in smoking cessation. Which medication is used to treat hyperthyroidism? A. Levothyroxin B. Methimazole C. Atorvastatin D. Metformin The correct answer is, B. Imethimazole. Methimazole inhibits thyroid hormone synthesis by interfering with iodine incorporation into thyroid hormone, making it effective for treating hyperthyroidism and controlling excessive thyroid hormone levels. Which antibiotic class should be avoided in children due to risk of permanent tooth discoloration? A. Eupenicillins. B. Cephalosporins. C. Tetracyclines. D. Macrolides. The correct answer is, C, tetracyclines. Tetracyclines bind to calcium in developing teeth and bones, leading to permanent discoloration and potential growth retardation in children, so they are contraindicated in this population. Thank you very much.